Hello everyone and welcome to another casual review. Today I'm talking about Katamari Damacy Reroll. I went into this game knowing nothing about it, but I do know that it has had its fans in the past. I think this is a remake from a GameCube game if I'm not mistaken. The story and just the whole game in general is crazy, weird, uh, quirky kind of uh, tone here. Think very similar to WarioWare Inc. Like that kind of a uh, silly randomness. But the story is basically your dad is like God. He's like the king of the cosmos. And he was partying a little too hard and he took out like all the stars and the moon. And so now you are his son and you are tasked with gathering up objects from Earth and then he will turn those objects into the stars. It's so funny too because he's always so condescending to you like whenever you gather up a ton of items he'll be like well it could be a lot bigger like I could do a lot better whenever he has sets like an objective for you for like constellations like Taros or Cancer or Capricorn he will have you gather up a certain amount of these certain items so like for cancer for instance that constellation you need to gather up a bunch of crabs and he'll always say like uh are you sure you gathered up all the crabs on the planet i'm not really sure if you did a great job or not and just the whole time he's just trashing on you just saying like how tiny and insignificant you are it's pretty funny so uh, how do you gather up things well you start out with a ball and you have to push the ball around similar to glover huh anyone no so glover isn't necessarily like picking up objects but I just mean the the parallel to you pushing around the ball so this ball can gather up items that are slightly smaller than it is so think similar to when you are building up a snowman you know when you gather up a bunch of snow into a ball and then you roll that ball around to gather up a bunch of more snow and it all starts packing in and getting larger and larger so then you can gather up more and more snow just like that but with real world objects so you um, certain levels they like you'll start out really really small like the, the size of a mouse and you'll be picking up thumbtacks and like little pieces of dirt and things like that but then eventually your katamari gets bigger and bigger until you are picking up huge things like uh, tables eventually you can get like cars near the end of the level you are just straight up picking up buildings and islands it's really gratifying just seeing your katamari just totally demolish the the our whole earth because it is just so giant and it is picking up anything in its path you just feel so invincible but it's just fun seeing yourself start with such humble beginnings and and grow up to that godlike point it's also really satisfying because when you're starting out certain moving objects will interrupt you like shoot you launch you into walls and you'll lose some of your objects like cats will attack you and things like that and it's just really fun getting big enough that you can swallow up the cats and the, the birds and and eventually the humans and then they're just flopping around inside your katamari like you don't care no mercy at all the controls themselves took a, just a little bit of getting used to you push the ball around with both of your sticks so like the right analog stick is like your right hand and the left analog stick is your left so in order to go full steam ahead you want to push both sticks up forward but if you want to turn to your left or your right like you'll you'll have your left stick back and your right stick forward it sounds a little wonky but you do get used to it and um, I think it does fit this game quite well it's always just so satisfying when you are are struggling finding just the right amount of objects that you can pick up but everything else is way bigger and then you finally just hit that threshold and then you can just pick up like all of these giant objects all at once and just see your katamari just uh, double or triple in size instantaneously it's so satisfying it's really funny picking up the oblong pieces like sometimes you'll when you're small you'll pick up like a, this pencil that just juts out of the katamari or when you're bigger you'll pick up like this ladder and your whole katamari just lunges way up in the air as you're trying to roll this weird oblong ball around there is a time limit to reach certain thresholds like your your the king of cosmos will say hey i need you to get your katamari this big and you only have 10 minutes to do it so 
At first I was a little worried because I thought this time limit would be stressful, but they give you plenty of time to gather it up. Think of it more like, okay, see how big you can get your Katamari in this time limit. Because most of the time you would reach the goal with uh, a couple of minutes to spare and the King of Cosmos will say like, okay, now you just have this amount of time just to get it as big as you want. Really uh, chase after that high score. So I think I only failed the time limit once and it was near the beginning of the game before I realized that there were multiple rooms that I could go into and explore. So I just kind of ran out of stuff to pick up and I ran out of time and the, the king sure does give you a hard time if you, you uh, don't reach that time limit. But it's not the end of the world. I could see it being pretty detrimental because some of these time limits are long. Like you have 15 minutes to gather up a ton of objects. So I could see it being pretty crappy if you don't meet that goal and just have to start all the way over from fresh. But uh, like I said, they, they are just pretty generous with it. You don't really have to worry about that time limit at all. The king will say, hey, we hid a present for you on, on this level that you're going into. Just see if you can grab it, pick it up on your way. We were just uh, uh, tossing around playing fetch with it and it dropped onto earth. So yeah, if you could grab it, that'd be great. And so <laughs> I only was able to find one present in the whole entire game. And uh, apparently the presents are just like different uh, cosmetics. So the one that I picked up gave my guy a little apron to wear. So that's fun. It's a fun thing to shoot for, but I'm not sure how easy they are to find because I was only able to find one my whole playthrough I have to imagine that you have to be a certain size in order to get the presents as well because when you are so entirely massive that you're picking up buildings I think it just straight up deletes all the little teeny tiny items so you might have to look up a guide if you are wanting to get all of those cosmetic pieces but it is nice to have an extra little collective thing to look out for aesthetically it looks kind of weird kind of voxely the humans themselves are are blocky like a, a simple mobile game would be so it's it's really funny because in between each level you get this little cut scene of this Japanese family it's all in Japanese no uh, no English here just uh, subtitles at the bottom and they're going to visit their dad who is an astronaut and um, just seeing them talk it's just like two different images of their mouths like one is open and the other's closed and they just look so silly and weird and funny but it totally matches the quirky tone of this game just like the music as well. This music isn't necessarily something I would listen to on its own, but uh, listening to it while I played the game was pretty funny. It's all in Japanese, I have no idea what they're saying. Um, but it is just, uh, it's just so out there. It's, it, I wouldn't say it's good, but it matches the game. I did notice after a couple of levels, the King of Cosmos, his dialogue would be pretty repetitive. So if you're looking for a new, fresh, funny dialogue every time, I don't think you're going to get it because uh, a lot of lines are repeated. And I don't really think this game is meant to be binged either because... Uh, it just starts feeling a little samey, like the novelty and the, the joy of rolling up your Katamari starts to get a little boring if you were to binge this game all at once. It's not a long game. I think it's only about four or five hours, which I think is very appropriate for a game like this. Like a good game length for me is to end right when I, I, I just want a little bit more so I can do a little bit of post game. That's a good game length for this game. I just wanted just a teeny bit more. So I was able to do that in the in terms of chasing high scores or looking for collectibles. Good game length. But it really uh, lends itself to just uh, doing a level here or there every now and again. Like it, it's more of a game to play in between your longer games. It's kind of funny because um, if you ever heard of the Tetris effect, um, that's basically people who played a ton of Tetris just start seeing the Tetris shapes in real life. Like your, your whole life is consumed by Tetris. And so you start thinking of how objects will be pieced together in order to accomplish the Tetris. I was kind of getting the same feeling here. Like I pretty much binged this game all the way through. And then I went for a walk afterwards and I was thinking like, hmm, I wonder if I'm big enough to roll up that sign or roll up that dog. Or like I started just in real life 
thinking like, well, I don't think I can quite roll up those trees just yet. I don't think I'm big enough. So it was just a funny effect. I, I got the Katamari Damacy re-roll effect. I have to wonder how this game even got made because it is just so weird and different. It's, it's, it's exactly like the type of game that you would be embarrassed if your grandpa caught you watching, you know, like your tough guy grandpa, like, what the heck are you playing? And it's just like, oh... Uh, Katamari Damacy re-roll, you, you, you roll up objects, and <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, it's, it's not the type of game that I think all people will get, but I definitely think that it was a game that was before its time. This seems like it would have really caught off in the streaming media in Twitch. It like matches that whole silly Among Us replayability, very uh, fun to watch, I think. So if this game came out fresh right during this time, I think it would be a hit. It's, it's like that uh, Untitled Goose game kind of feeling, just very quirky, fun to watch. It would, it would have been a hit. All things considered, let's give this game a four out of five. I had a great time with it. I, I think that it is definitely worth looking into. Well guys, that's it for me. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about Katamari Damacy Reroll. Let me know any of your fun memories. Did it even come out on the GameCube? Let me know. That's it for me though. I'll talk to you later. Bye!